65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. But tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Detroit Lions. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Love going to throw right away. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Love. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. From the 44 yard line, here's second and a couple. Working out of the gun. Love. That'll be caught right side by Reed. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Dillon. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. So out now come the Lions. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. First carry now for David Montgomery. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Here's third and seven. Here's Gaw. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. The back deep is Jaden Reed. And taken right on the 30. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring up second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, 
comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Love looking to throw it. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Here's Daniel Whelan now. And this will be taken at the 13. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. And it may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Here's second and ten. Now a give running right is Montgomery. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Throwing on third, golf. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And that will come the offense as they take over. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. Love, they go play action now. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that's going to bring up second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now a second down throw for Love here. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Time is crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. And here's Daniel Whelan on now to punt. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and ten. 
at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. So from the 22, here's second and two. Now a play fake, and it's gone. He's got this to Williams complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. In motion, the tight end. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. There it starts in on the tackle. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Meanwhile, Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as he's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Now Goff. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Now it's gone. And his throw here is incomplete. Partner, I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, golf. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Once more, Montgomery. And this time, he'll score. Touchdown, Lions. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line. But there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here. And we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Love now to pass on first down. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. A love throw brought in by Watson. First time that they've called his number tonight. And it gets him a first down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Off the play fake, Love. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. this time with Love. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. They'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slip free. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll drop the throw. Goes out left. It's caught by Williams. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. 
Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's fast. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Goff now looking to throw. Over the middle and taken in by Laporta. And he's taken down right away at the 39-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Back to throw, golf. That is caught by LaPorta. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 39. 23 yards to pick up there. I don't know whether I want to be a fly on the wall or not when they hear the explanation of how he, one of the bigger targets on the field, the tight end could be that wide open and uncovered downfield. Who blew that assignment? Somebody did. No doubt about it. There's no way you're not going to account for him. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a Lion that's shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. From the red zone now, golf. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. They'll fake the give. Now golf. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. And it is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions have taken a two-touchdown lead now. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score.
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Play fake. Here's Love. Over the middle here. It's hauled in by Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Love. They go play action now. Got Dobbs over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Throw caught by Musgrave. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here now, second and four. To throw now, here's Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. Back-to-back receptions for him, and it's another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 23, here's second down and seven. Throwing. Love. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Love to throw to the left side. There's the tight end, Musgrave. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Well, this is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Here's Love. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. 
Love looking to throw it. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. shot as he let that go and it's going to bring up a third down I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to he was right up in his grill I think he was a dentist there without a license don't you <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop just lucky it wasn't a fumble really Goff now to throw work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete the Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's gone. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Here's gone. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Goff now looks to throw. And the Packers give him no down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Here's Jack Fox now as he's on to punt for Detroit. Now he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. First down, love to pass. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. First and ten, Love. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by a feature, Metafamu. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. After the interception, here's Goff. Over the middle, complete. It's Gibbs. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Badgley able to knock this one through, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there. And he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. To throw on second down is gone. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now gone. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Lions first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. 
And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down and a yard. Montgomery on the counter. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That second down play nets a minus four. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. They'll come up facing third and five. Gone. side here going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 15. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking left sideline, incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Counter play with Jacobs. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of the defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Musgrave's got it out right. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Love now to pass on first down. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On second down, Jacobs. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 42. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. As an unbiased observer... I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. The Love's throw brought in by Watson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Love. They go play action now. Throw caught by Musgrave. 
That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-bodied tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. 40 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Packers are back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and get some right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we didn't put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter, despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got Say Brown running the quick slant here. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. This second and four. Goff now looking to throw. Throw over the middle. He finds Williams. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Here's Gaw. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. But whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's a result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands, and oftentimes the receiver turns around, and there's the ball. Nice completion there. Down inside the 10, and all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A big play there on the catch and run. 38 yards. That one was hard to fathom. They were in the dime. They had six DBs back there. They still lost it. Great word, because I'm right there with you. I don't understand how they couldn't pick him up. But don't be surprised next week early 
There are some extra people in the locker room. Maybe a tryout or two for those guys who missed it. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Here's Goff. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Montgomery is into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Play action this time with Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jacobs going to try the middle. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. 47 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. Here's second and three. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. That one caught downfield by Watson. Touchdown! 
Packers. Christian Watson with his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So that's a really big play here in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. They're right back in this game. Did it feel to you as it did to me that maybe they were a little bit soft in what they were lining up with on defense? Almost like they were protecting the lead rather than trying to make a play. And now that lead is down to just one score. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And Detroit getting set to go now. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. to throw. Goff. And that's hauled in by St. Brown. And the ball is knocked out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. Gibbs straight ahead. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 41 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Goff now looks to throw. Got his man. It's Williams. So the completion good for just three. And just like that, it's third down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Goff on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. The field position game often so overlooked, but this offense is going to be backed up deep. What an ideal punt. 
And now, this stage of the game, when they need the drive to try and put themselves in a position to win it, you talk about going the long field, the very long field. This could be a 99-yard drive if they're able to accomplish it. Out of his end zone, Love. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and 10. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Love now on second down. And Watson has it, right side. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Love with it here, third and short yardage. Finding room at midfield. Shedding the tackler and it gives him some room. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 36. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. Well, defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Derek Barnes able to run him down for a 15-yard loss, and it will be fourth down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is taken around the 12, and that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Play action. It's gone. And he knocks the ball away falls incomplete. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two.
Throwing on third. Goff. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So here's Love and the Packers. Down 24-21, a minute 50 to play. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Love looking to throw it. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Able to connect with Jacobs. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice game, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. And he is going to have a Packers first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Love with a pass caught by Musgrave, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Here's first and ten. Now Love. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Here's first down. Here's Love. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. A little more than 40 seconds to play. Now second and 10. Love. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front and it's incomplete. Back to back incompletions but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. Love looking to throw. And he is caught. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. Love. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. 
everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Here's Love. Rolling to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Nice solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. Big play looming here. This is third and seven with a crowd on their feet. One last shot now for Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Well, they had one final chance here on the kick return, but no chance on the other side that they were going to let him navigate all the way to the end zone, Charles. And that ends up being the final play in this one. Yeah, you're right about that. Special teams coaches, they spend a lot of time working on these types of situations, and they go over every crazy possibility that can happen in this situation. They were able to cover successfully and end the game. So that'll do it for us.